Remember we spoke about equivalence and we said equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal in their value but they don't look the same. So for example we said 6 out of 12 is equal to 3 out of 6 and this illustration shows you that that is a fact. Now, how do we get equivalence without using multiplication? We always say that the opposite of multiplication is division or the inverse of multiplication is division. So now, if we wanted to make the bigger looking fraction look exactly like the smaller looking fraction or look like its smaller equivalence then we need to use division so we will then say whatever we do on the top we need to do on the bottom of the fraction Meaning, whatever we do to the numerator, we also need to do to the denominator. So, to get from 6 to 3, we need to say 6 divided by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Then, as we said, whatever we do on the top, we need to do on the bottom as well. So, at the bottom we have a, numer a denominator, 12. We need to divide it by 2 as well. So, this is our whole. Whenever we divide or multiply a fraction by a whole, then we will get its equivalence. So 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. The whole number can be any digit. It can be 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, and so on and so forth. But we usually or normally start with the lower number. And the lower digit cannot be 0 or 1. We cannot divide or multiply by 0 or 1 to find equivalence. We need to divide by either 2 over 2 or any other digits that are greater than 1 or 0. That is how we find equivalence using division.